that is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaya and today I'm going to be sharing with you 20 brand new metal releases for the month of March 2023. I'm really, really excited to share these artists with you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please feel free to do so. I post weekly videos documenting my metal journey as a brand new metal head. I also have a Discord, the Mosh Pit. There's an invite link down below in the description as well as my PO box if you feel inclined to send something to be featured in our metal monthly unboxing videos <laughs> without further ado let's get into our list starting off with nay obliviscaris i believe is how you pronounce it they're releasing their fourth album exul via season of mist who we just partnered with girl they're releasing it march 24th now, if you do not know this band, they are from Australia and they are extreme progressive metal. I'm super excited to dive into this band. So I am going to be doing a reaction to their full album as well as a single girl. Okay, this is what I got planned. So really excited. This will be the first album that I jump into with Season of Mist. So if you know of this band, definitely be on the lookout for them. Also coming up is the band Crueler releasing a live album on March 3rd. It is called Dead Live, and they are releasing it via Horror, Pain, Gore, Death Records. They are from Houston, Texas, and do Death Thrash. So Horror, Pain, Gore, Death, girl. Okay, we just we just reacted to one of their artists, um, Horrible Earth. They are a grindcore band. If you haven't checked that reaction please do after this video because it was money. So this is like the first kind of live album I've promoted in this series and I'm really excited. I also love the, the name Crueler. So again, March 3rd, Horror Pain Gore Death Records, Crueler. Also coming up is Rotten Sound. Some of you know this, they are releasing their eighth album called Apocalypse on March 31st via Season of Mist Records and they are Finnish Grindcore so I'm also going to be checking this out because your girl likes Grindcore now we just discovered this plus Rotten Sound I've been hearing that's a name that's been floating around you know so Rotten Sound they're releasing next up we got Cruelty releasing Utopia on March 17th via Profound Lore Records. This is a Tokyo based Japanese metallic hardcore band and this is going to be their second album. Sounds very interesting. We haven't re listened to any like Tokyo metal yet. So Plague Bearer is releasing a debut album called Summoning Apocalyptic Devastation from Nameless Grave Records. Just loved the name Plague Bearer and it's their debut also. Downfall of Gaia is releasing Silhouettes of Disgust on March 17th. This will be their sixth studio album via Metal Blade Records. If you don't know this band, they do atmospheric sludge slash post black metal. I like, I like black metal and I like atmospheric metal. So atmospheric sludge sounds very interesting. Human Race is Filth is releasing an album called Cognitive Dissonance on March 10th. They are independently releasing this album and they are a death grind band. Mm. Those, the combination of death and grind is like pinched fingers, okay? I'm into the grindcore and I'm into the death metal. So I'm also interested in the human race is filth and cognitive dissonance. It just sounds interesting. Number eight, Bagora is releasing their debut album, The Art of Deviant Behavior on March 1st. This is a progressive heavy rock band and they're independently releasing this album. It sounds super interesting. Next band is Gorod. They are independently releasing their seventh album, The Orb, on March 7th. This is a French-based technical death metal band. So we haven't had too much technical death on the channel, so this might be a really good underground pick if you like that sort of sound. Also, Unfeld is releasing their debut full-length album called Paul of Endless Perdition. They are releasing this via Season of Mist on March 10th, and it is pagan 
black metal. So haven't had too much or any really pagan black metal. So I'm assuming it's kind of like a folky black metal sound, right? Similar to like Agaloc. On March 3rd, Stoned Jesus will be releasing a brand new album called Father Light via Season of Mist Records. Now, this is a Ukrainian psychedelic rock band. So very interesting. I also love that it's Stoned Jesus and then Father Light. So I'm wondering if it's like, are they Christian? Is it like a Christian psychedelic rock moment or is it like poking fun at it? I don't know. I don't know. Next up is Sermon releasing of Golden Verse. This is gonna be their sophomore album and they will be releasing it via Prosthetic Records. It is Melodic Melancholic Doom. We just listened to a Doom band recently that you guys will be able to see very shortly but melodic melic melodic melancholic doom sounds very interesting they're releasing this march 31st next up is the death metal band command releasing their sophomore album death age on march 31st via 20 buck spin if you know this band girl death metal let me know what your thoughts are about command look for it on march 31st contrarian is releasing their fifth album called sage of Shekina, Shekina, on march 17th via willow tip records this is a progressive death metal band i found the name of this sage of Shekina, to be very interesting so look for this record on march 17th next up we have nuclear holocaust they're releasing their third album sailing seas of nuclear waste coming out march 3rd via self-made god records this is grindcore girl also self-made god records is a new record label i haven't heard of um and i loved that it was nuclear holocaust and then the album Sailing Seas of Nuclear Waste. I thought like the play on the title as well as the album kind of intercollecting, intercollecting, interconnecting with the word nuclear was cool. Y'all know I like, I like when bands have fun with their albums. Number 16, Night Goat, releasing their second album, Totem, March 17th via Black Donut Records. Yes, that is a record label. They're an Ohio-based death rock band. So first time I've ever heard like death rock being in the same thing. So I'm assuming it has elements of death metal and classic rock in it. Also, I couldn't not shout out Black Donut Records. Okay, Black Donut Records, girl. Look for it March 17th. Next up is Straight Hate, releasing their third album, Slaves of Falseness, on March 10th via Self Made God Records. Again, this is another release from Self Made God. This is Polish Grindcore. Are they like the Polish known for their grindcore? What, what state in the US or country in the world, I guess you could say, uh, is known for their like grindcore, you know? what 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 is it if you know let me know in the comments below vanishment is next up on our list releasing their debut album no more torture on march 3rd via dead sage records this is a seattle based band they play classic thrash and heavy metal music similar to like iron maiden and metallica that kind of thing Resin is up next, releasing their fourth album called Solace on March 8th. This is an ethereal heavy psych metal band. It sounds interesting. Ethereal, psych, like psychedelic mixed with metal, heavy metal. I'm just curious what that would sound like. And lastly on our list is the band Ice Age releasing Waves of Loss and Power. This is their third studio album. They're releasing March 10th via Sensory Records, Progressive Rock and Metal Music. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for my list this month for my metal monthly releases. I really hope that y'all enjoyed. Definitely the bands I'm most excited about are Ne Oblivascaris and their album Exul, as well as Cruelty, releasing Utopia. That's the Tokyo-based Japanese metallic hardcore band. And I'm really excited about Rotten Sound. What are you excited about being released in March? Let's talk, okay? So, again, I'll have all of the links to all of these albums in the description. So if one of these piqued your interest, go down into my description, check out their stuff. I'll have the direct links to places where you can pre-order their album or at least check out their band camp for any other records that they might have if they don't have the new album already on their band camp. So you'll at least be able to dig a little deeper, you know? So... That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.